Hi, friends. Today we're having fun with numbers. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. What a great job, friends! It's Magic Lunchbox. She loves to eat numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh oh, she ate them all. They're yummy in her tummy. But don't worry, we'll still be able to play with them. Oh no, something's wrong. All the numbers have lost their color. We need to fix that. We'll start with number one. What should we use to color our numbers? Paint. That's right, friends. Oh, and we'll need paintbrushes too. What color should we paint, number one? Hmm. Let's paint it blue. I really like this color. Do you? It reminds me of the ocean. Bip and blast. I'll paint it fast. Ha ha. Ooh, I'm finally done. And now we have a blue number one. Yay! What number is next? Five? That's not right. Is it eight? Nope. We're looking for number two because two comes after one, right? Yes! Time to paint two, two. What color should we use? Oh, I know. Use purple, please. Great. Purple is such a beautiful color. Subscribe if you agree. Here's a trick. I'll paint it quick. Ah, uh ha, -huh. it's done, friends. And it looks fantastic. It goes right next to number one. See? One, two. Now we need the number three. No, that's a five. And this is a nine. That's not right. Do you see it, friends? Yes! Here's the number three. We found it. Green is perfect. It reminds me of leaves and grass. Here I go, but I won't go slow. A nice green three. And three comes after two. See? One, two, three. Hmm. Can anyone find the number four? Yes, it's right there. Oh, thank you very much, Emily. A four is made up of four straight lines. What color do you want our number four to be? Yellow. It's bright and happy. And it reminds me of the sun. What else is yellow, friends? Lemons, bananas, and corn. Yellow will make the four really stand out. Let's see how quickly I can paint it. It looks awesome. Good choice of color, Emily. Number four. I know that number five is next. Is it even here? We may have lost it somewhere. I hope not. Wait, this isn't a two. Nope. See, if we flip it over, look what we get. It's the number five. And what color will our five be today? Let's try red. Roses are red. And strawberries are two. How fast can I paint this one? Let's find out. We got the red number five. And five goes right after our yellow four. What number is next, friends? Shout it out. Six, and it's right there. You're all so smart. Wait, if we flip it, it becomes a nine. But that's not what we need now. 
Ha <laughs> ha! It was upside down. Here's number six. It deserves a special color. We have so many to choose from. I don't know. I love all those colors. Hey, let's try brown. Brown it is, then. Although, it actually looks like brown orange, right? Time to buckle up because I'm zip, zip, zip through this paint job. <laughs> Okay, I think that's good enough, don't you? Let's put it in place. What's this number called? Six, correct! And we'll use it to start a new line. There are a few numbers left, and I know that the number after six is seven. Here it is! For the number seven, we have lots of colors to choose from. You're right, but I want to do purple again, please! Oh, Emily, I think purple must be your favorite color. And what's your favorite color, friends? Shout it out when I count to three. One, two, three. Mine too. But I'd better paint the seven purple since Emily asked. Whoa, now that was fast. I think painting things is a lot more fun with friends like you. We can add our seven to the row. Hooray! Okay, boys and girls, what number is next? Not 10, and not nine. Yes, eight comes after seven. Eight looks like two donuts shoved together. <laughs> we need the perfect color for our number eight. What, is that a hint? What was that color? Green, here it is. I like it. Ooh, this is a lovely dark green, like moss in a forest. Trick or treat, I'll paint in speed. <laughs> Bravo! We've painted an astounding little masterpiece together. So after six and seven, we put eight. There are two numbers left to choose from. What's that? Yes, number nine is next, friends. Well done. Nine looks like a circle with a big, long tail. Let me think. I'll paint this red. Do you like that idea, friends? On your mark, get set, paint. That looks pretty good, doesn't it? So bright and shiny. It's good that we picked red. Our numbers look like a rainbow in the sky. Finally, we have the number 10. Look closely, it's made up of a zero and a one. I really like blue, so we'll paint half of our number 10 with it. One, we can use green, violet, yellow, or red. Ah ha! Violet would look nice with blue. They look good together. I must be careful and not mess the two colors. Here we go. Whoa, you're the fastest painter I know, Ken. I give you a thumbs up. Thanks, Emily. And check it out. Using two colors makes this number 10 look extra cool. We finished them all, friends. Now this is the number 10. We can get it from nine and one. Nine plus one equals 10. Let's see, eight plus two also equals 10. Six plus four equals 10 too. Seven plus three is 10 as well. And if you add five and five, you get 10, great. Math is really fun, as well as our play date. Thanks for being with us today. Now say bye-bye to our numbers. See you soon. Hi, dear friends. It's so good to see you again. Today we're drawing and coloring a picture of my favorite animal. Can you guess what it is? Yes, it's a lion. You can help me draw one. I'll grab the supplies and we can get started. First, we need to draw the lion before we can color it, right? Of course. I'll start with a heart shape like this. Then I'll add a snout, where the mouth, the nose, and whiskers go. Now what? You need two circles for his eyes. Make them big so he can see far away. Don't forget about his mane. 
The mane is all the thick hair around his head, and it's only the boy lions that have them. Oh, we better give him legs to stand on. Here's one and here's another. Those are his front legs, and he has two big front paws. One and two. A big curve for his body, then down to make his back leg. We're almost done, friends. Hmm, but we need a belly and one more back leg. Something's missing. A tail, of course, ending in a fuzzy tip. Just like this. Now we'll add a cute little cub. A cub is what we call a baby lion. And she loves hanging out with her daddy lion. Let's give her a big smile. Now for the rest of her body. Oh, look, she's looking at us already. And we'll give her a swishy tail as well. Great. Then, way up in the sky, let's draw a bird flying by. Tweet Tweet, it says, as it goes looking for worms to eat. Good luck, little bird. Hey, friends. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons for more fun adventures. This looks like a cloud, but it's not. It's the top of a tree. I'll use long lines to make the trunk and the branches. Lions live in Africa, where it's hot and dry. Trees like this provide cool shade to rest in. We'll draw a line along the back for the horizon and some squiggly bits for tufts of grass. Up, down, up, down, and our grass is done. Oh, and we need a big hot sun up in the sky. It's a circle with some squiggles around it. Great, time to paint. Use orange first, Ken. Orange will be perfect for the lion's face, but I'll take my time. It's not a race. I think Daddy Lion is looking fantastic so far. And we can't forget his cute little ears. What color is next? Let's use brown. That's perfect for his mane. I'll get it done lickety split. Painting around the whiskers can be tricky. Phew, I did it! I just need a few more seconds to finish with the mane. We shouldn't forget the tail, too. I'll use a marker to color the lion's mouth. I like how it turns out, don't you? Yeah! We should paint the cub orange too. Aww. I think she likes our paint job. Yay! Yeah! Then she'll look even more like her daddy lion this way. Oh, hi there, cub. Do you like what's going on here? It's okay to go over the lines sometimes, as long as we're having fun. Some brown for her ears. And some brown for her tail, too. Use some yellow for her chest, please. Sure thing. And the bird? Pink! It's my favorite color. Yay! Then let's call this the Emily bird. <laughs> Ooh, let's make her wings of a different color. Leaves are usually green. 
<laughs> okay then. Blin, bland, bleen, our leaves will be green. <laughs> got a lot of leaves to color here. But it's okay. I like the process. Do you like coloring, friends? Great. And branches and trunks are usually brown. Be a bright color. Then I'll paint the circle yellow. Yay! And the sun rays will be bright orange. I'll use a marker to make a beautiful blue sky. This takes the longest because it's so big. And a marker for some green, green grass. Very well. We also need some yellow sandy ground. Just like in a real life Africa, where our lions live. Tada! We finished our masterpiece. It's so bright and colorful. Our new lion friends like it too. Look great in a museum or on the fridge, or we could give it to a parent as a present. <laughs> That's a great idea, and I'm sure they'd love it. Thanks for joining us, friends. See you next time. friends. Today we are cooking a very tasty and healthy dinner. Oh no, what's going on? Is it just me or all the colors are suddenly gone? Oh no, we can't play this way. How are we going to cook dinner now? Friends, we need to bring the colors back. Will you help us? Yeah. Just look at what I've got here. It's a magical palette with so many colorful paints. Do you know what these colors are called? I do. I know everything about colors. I will show you now. This bright color is called red. I like red. And this one is called orange. Repeat after me. The next one is called yellow. Hmm, I forgot the next color. Oh, you are right, friends. It is called green. Green like the grass. And this one is blue, just like the blue sky. Ah, it's purple. My favorite color in the whole world. Well done, Emily. And thank you, friends. Now we can start coloring. Look, I know that this is a vegetable. What color should it be? Let's pick the paint from our magic palette. Maybe I should take this one. Here we go. Do you remember this color? It's called green. Oops. I guess it's the wrong choice. Let's pick another color then. Maybe we should try this one. I'm sure you know what this color is called. Blue! Oh, we are wrong again. But don't worry. We can give it one more try. This time I want to pick this color. Okay, let's see. Aha! It's the red color. And it's the right choice. We did great. We've got the first vegetable. 
This is a tomato. It even sounds tasty. Right! Tomatoes are very tasty and full of vitamins. They're good for salads and soups and juice. Wow! Emily, you know a lot, and I found our next vegetable. Let's paint it. Should I pick white or blue? Or maybe purple? Let's see. I'm painting, and the vegetable becomes purple. What do you think, friends? Is it the right color? No, okay. Let's try this one, then. This color is called blue. Should this vegetable be blue? I guess not. But I'm not going to be upset. I will just try one more time. Now I want to go with this color. Orange. It looks right to me. Oh, great. We did it. Did you recognize this vegetable, friends? What is it? It's a carrot. Well done. Carrots are very tasty and crunchy. I know that they are good for your eyesight. We all should eat them. Yeah. Friends, we are doing great so far. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and give us a lot of thumbs ups. Hey, Emily, is this a vegetable too? I'm not sure. Let's paint it and find that out. It's a great idea. But what color should I pick? Okay, let's go with this one. I don't think I remember what this color is called. Oh, right, it's orange. But it's a wrong choice. Let's try once more. I want to see if this color fits. Emily, do you think I'm right? You are wrong. This vegetable should not be green. What color should it be then? Maybe this is the right choice. This time you did great. Thank you for your help, friends. This is yellow. Now I can clearly see that this is a banana. Who likes bananas? Monkeys like bananas. And children like bananas too. Everybody loves bananas. Aha! The next thing we will paint is a fruit. Let's pick a color. Actually, fruits can be of various colors. I wonder which one to pick. Let it be this one. Okay, fruit. How do you like to be? Purple. Not so much, I see. Then maybe our fruit would better like to be of this color. Do you remember what it's called, friends? Red. Oops, missed again. Oh, Emily, I think I'm going to need your help with this one. I can't choose the right color. Don't worry, I think I have an idea. Hello, fruit. Uh, do you want to be green? <laughs> wow, Emily, well done. So, my dear friends, do you know this fruit? Oh, don't be shy. What's it called? Pear, that's right. I like to make a fruit salad from pears and many other tasty fruits. You should try that too. Now, this one is going to be a bit tricky. It's definitely not a fruit or veggie. It's a fish. Do you know anything about fish, Emily? Fish live underwater, and they have gills to breathe. And they come in different sizes and colors. Now, that's a thinker. What color should we choose then? Let's have a look at our palette. I think I saw green fish in an aquarium once. Let's try it. Is this the right color? No, wait, my fish wasn't green. Oops, what color was it then? Let's try again with this one. Does this color look right to you? Oh, this is it. Now I remember. This fish used to be blue. Great. And this is another vegetable that lost its color. We won't let it stay like this. Yay! Let's make it really bright. All the colors are bright here, but I'd like to choose the red one. Oh, you are so silly. This veggie can't be red. It will look so much better being green. Really? Well, I think the veggie doesn't agree. I think it wants to be yellow. Do you really think so? Okay, let me paint it. Here you go, veggie. Now you are yellow, like the sun. It doesn't like it. Well, I have one more idea. But I'm going to need your help, friends. What is this color called? Purple. Very well. Well done. You are so smart. This is a very interesting vegetable. It is called an eggplant. Do you like eggplants? Well, you should. They are rich in vitamins that are very important for all of you to grow up healthy. Now look at that. All our fruits and vegetables and fish are bright and colorful again. Emily and I couldn't have done it without your help, friends. That's true. Thank you so much. And you know a lot of colors, too. Now we can finally play together. That's right. We wanted to cook dinner, remember? I'd like to have some fish soup. Who's with me? Let's do this. This is just what we need. I want to start with this red tomato. Let's cut it in half so we can add it to our fish soup. Look, friends, this tomato looks so beautiful. It will make our soup very tasty. 
For the fish soup, we need fish, of course. It is important to scale it really well. Now we can cut it in half, too. Excellent. How about some carrots? It should go to our soup, but first we need to peel it. Like this. Here goes a cut. Very well. Hey, where is our saucepan? Here it is. We just need a half of a carrot for our soup. Great. Then I will turn on the stove and wait for everything to boil. This is it. Thank you for playing with us today. See you soon. Hello, dear friends. Today we are going to learn a lot about animals. I hope that you are ready. So, let's get started. I have a lot of different toy animals in my basket. This is a cow. Do you know what does a cow say? We all know that cows give milk, which is tasty and so good for our health. And this is a lion, and he roars. A grown lion sleeps 20 hours a day. Can you imagine? I wish I could sleep that much. Oh look, it's an elephant. They make very loud sounds. Even though this is only a baby elephant, he is very big. Can you help me? What animal here is domestic? Is it the elephant? No. A lion, maybe? No way. Then is it a cow? Of course. And who is this? It's a pig. Just look at these pink piglets. They are so cute. And this little fella is called a calf. What does a calf say? Moo, that's right. This is not a horse, it's a zebra. Zebras are actually black with white stripes. So which one of these animals is domestic? Is it a zebra? Oh no! Then how about a calf? That's right. And a pig is a domestic animal too. You did great, friends. But now it's time to play a fun game. Look at all the colors that I've got here. They are so bright, right? Well, our animals want to become bright too. Will you help me do that? Great, let's play together and have some fun. The pig wants to come first. Well, of course, pigs and piglets like bathing in mud puddles. And this puddle is so pretty. What color is this, do you know? It's blue, very well. Now take a deep breath, piggy, cause you're diving in. Wow, just look how the paint behaves in water. These blobs look so cool. Let's make some more. Shake it, shake it, little piggy. <laughs> oh, this is definitely my favorite color. And the paint really shines bright. Hey, the water is becoming bright too. What color is this? That's right, it's blue. Let's say it once again. Blue. Okay, piggy, that's enough. You're all clean again. A pig is a farm animal. Pig. Oink, oink. Zebra wants to go next. He chooses bright green color. I guess it reminds our zebra of the tasty grass that he loves to eat so much. Whoa, way to go, Mr. Zebra. Look, friends, he swims on his back. That's funny. Now hold your breath, zebra. We're diving in. And into the water he goes. Such a diver. Let's make a few green blobs now. Shake it, shake it. Whoa, just look at that. And the water is changing its color too. So magical. Oh, I just love this fun game. By the way, what is this color called? It's green. That's right. Bright, green. All right, it's enough swimming for you, buddy. So this is a zebra and it's a wild animal. Here comes the diver number three. It's a calf and he picked the red color. Nice. I think he wants to become red, just like the red apples that he likes to chew on so much. Way to go, calf. Are you ready for the dive? Here we go, blop, blop. Okay, now let's help our new friend wash off the paint properly. I will shake him underwater like this, and the water will change its color. What color is this? It's red. Very well, you are doing great, friends. You are so smart. Okay now, I think you're clean already, little fella. A calf is a domestic animal and he lives on a farm. Our elephant likes the purple color best. Well, I'm sure it will suit you, buddy. There you go. And what is your favorite color, friends? Come on, tell me. 
Uh-huh. Oh, really? Well, I like it too. All righty. I think our elephant is all covered in paint now. Let's see how he looks. Wow. What do you think? I think he looks nice. Oh, and he likes swimming in the paint and diving so much. Let's get you to the water, little buddy. Whoosh. This really is amazing how the paint floats in the water. I like all these colorful, funny blobs. And you? Let's make some more of them. This is so much fun. Just look how pretty the water looks now. Do you remember what color is this? Come on, I'm sure you all know it. It's purple. Say it again. Purple. Well done. Okay, baby elephant. It's time to dry you off. Elephants are wild animals. Whoa, it's a lion. He decided to change his color too. He wants to become yellow, just like the sun. Or like a lemon. Let me help you, Mr. Lion. But please don't roar too loudly. You make me scared. There you go. Actually, I think the lion's fur is yellow as it is. Or is it orange? Or brown, maybe? What do you think, friends? Tell me. Hey, look. Our Mr. Lion is playing in this colorful puddle just like a kitten. He jumps and rolls, having fun. But it's time to take a dive now. So many bubbles. Lions are cats, and cats don't like water too much. Well, give me just a minute, Mr. Lion, and you will be clean again. By the way, dear friends, what yellow thing do you know? I have slippers that are yellow and a pack of yellow candies. And now, look, the water is all yellow too. It's yellow and so bright. Okay, I think our lion is good to go now. Uh-oh, he doesn't look happy. Lion is a wild animal. The last animal for today is a cow. And it looks like this one is a glam cow. She chose the pink color. I wonder what kind of milk could the pink cow give? What if it had been a milkshake and with strawberry flavor? I know, I would have loved that too. Come on, cow, you should dive deeper if you want to change your color to pink. There you go. Here, let me help you. Do you know any pink animals, friends? Once, I saw pink flamingos on TV. They are very beautiful. All right, I think that's enough for the paint. Let's wash our cow now. Is everybody ready? Three, two, one, go. Oh yeah, very well. Shake off the paint, Mrs. Cow. This is amazing. I nearly can't see her anymore. Can you see her, friends? Well, that's because the water has changed its color. What color is it now? Pink. That's right. This water is pink. Well, Mrs. Cow, you will be clean very soon. Did you have fun playing with us? Great, we had fun too. She is no longer glamorous, but she's still very pretty. It's a cow, and it's a farm animal. You know what? I think we have a pair of matching animals here. Let's see. How about these two? No, they don't look alike. And what about these two? Yeah, they hardly look alike either. And these two are completely different animals. Oh, I got it. It's a mama cow and her baby calf. We did it. Thank you for playing with me today, friends. See you soon. Hey, friends. How's it going? Check out these toys. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six colorful cars. This is the green truck. Wait. What's happening? The colors are fading. Oh, no. They're all gray now. That's not good. Don't worry, we can fix this. But I'm gonna need your help. Let's grab my paints. Red, orange, yellow, green, white, blue, and purple. Now, what color was that truck? Was it purple? Let's give it a try. No, I don't think it was purple. Let's try another color this time. Do you like red? Let's see if this truck was red. No, it wasn't red at all. Maybe it was green. Yes, that's it. This truck was green. Let's put it in the garage. Uh-oh, this isn't the right spot. How about over here? Oops, it doesn't go in there. Better. We did great!
The green car goes in the green garage. Thank you for helping me, dear friends. Do you know what color the fire truck is? Should we paint it yellow? Of course, no! We all know that fire trucks are red! Let's paint it! Yes, you did it! Good job! It's a red fire truck. But it doesn't go here. Or here. This is hard. Can you help me? You think it goes here? Yes! The red fire truck goes in the red firehouse. I know this is a school bus. What color it should be? Do you think it's blue? I'm not sure, but let's try. No, school buses aren't blue. We should try again. Let's take green this time. I think this is the right color. Here we go. Wait, I think I made a mistake. But it's okay. Now I know. The answer is yellow. What yellow things do you know? I know a banana, a lemon, the sun, and a school bus. Yes! We did it! Now let's put our school bus in the garage. Will it go in here? No way! That's the blue garage. How about this one? Nope. Here's the yellow garage. Now, three cars are in their places. The red garage, the yellow garage, and the green garage. The car number one is the red fire truck with a long ladder. The green trucks like this one collect all our garbage in the morning. And the yellow bus takes a lot of you friends to school. But we still have empty parking spaces. It's a police car. What color should we choose to paint it? Maybe orange? No! Police cars are not orange! Maybe they are blue? Let's see if we are right. Yes! Police cars are blue! You're so good at this, friends! But where does it go? No, this is not the police station. This is the police station. Look at this car. It's an ambulance. What color should we paint it? Do you think it's purple? Oh no, the ambulances aren't purple. Let's try a different color. We'll paint our ambulance yellow. Oh, I got that one wrong. We will try white then. We haven't used it yet. Yes, the ambulances are usually white. Well done. Oops, it's the wrong garage. Let's try one more time. There we go. The ambulance goes in the white hospital. Now we have red, green, yellow, blue and white parking places. We did great! Only one empty garage is left. For the tow truck. I want to try and paint it green. Am I right? No. Maybe I should try orange this time. It worked! Look! We have an orange tow truck! And it has a red light on top. I think I know where this goes. Great! All our cars are in the right places. Hang on. There is something wrong with these numbers. Can you help me sort them? Let's do this. Now let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six. We know six cars and six colors now. See you next time. Bye.